Hello guys, hi, thank you very much for joining us. My very short introduction, my name is Mahar Afzal. I'm a managing partner of Cress Cooper, Chartered Accountants, Management Consultants, Headhunters and Cress Cooper e-learning school. By profession, I'm a Chartered Accountant. I'm a member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales. I am UK as well as UE VAT certified professionals. Before starting the session, I would like to say big thanks to the team of Accounting and Finance Show of Middle East. They have done a fabulous job in this difficult time. They need real appreciation. I really appreciate them. Now coming back to the topic, we will be discussing the role of technology in the VAT compliance. We all know this, VAT is in the region. This has already been implemented in UE, in KSA, in Bahrain. We are listening, it will be implemented in 2021, by the mid of 2021 in Oman as well. Then after this, Qatar and Kuwait as well. So VAT is in the region. Companies are struggling to be VAT compliant. We will see what is the role of technology, how technology can help us how technology can help businesses to be tax compliant. This will be our core focus. Our table of contents, this is the key area on which we will be focusing role of technology overall in the world. What is the role of technology on which direction technology is leading the whole world. Role of technology for VAT compliance for businesses specifically, role of technology for VAT compliance for tax authorities specifically. Key benefits of technology will say pathway to 2025 at the end we will have question and answer session. So the role of technology. We all know this that the manual working is time consuming and there are chances of error as well. So technology is being used to save the time and to enhance the correctness and the data. Real-time information is available. Due to the real-time and immediate availability of the information, decision-making has become quick. Moreover, businesses' processes are being changed because the technology has changed the fundamentals of doing business. Almost in each and every sector of life, technology has played a vital role. In the same way, technology has played a very important role in the VAT world as well. We will see how the technology has enormous impact on the VAT. The strength of a business to be VAT compliant depends upon three things. These three major things are processes in place in the business. Second thing is technology being used and third thing is expertise of the VAT team. Out of these three things, technology is one of the key factors which shows strength of a business to be VAT compliant. Means technology being used, capacity of the system. Your system can capture the relevant information, system can assess the tax position, system can do the e-filing, system can generate the reports, system can identify which are the recoverable invoices, which are the non-recoverable invoices. If the system has this capacity, then definitely we can say the business has key strength to be a tax compliant. So we'll see in detail what is the role of technology in the VAT functions. So role of technology in the VAT world, it can be classified for businesses and for tax authorities. For the businesses, there are four main functions in the business. One is sales and related output tax. Second is purchases and related input tax. Third is reconciliation. And the fourth one is e-filing and processing of the payments. We will see the impact of technology on these key four functions in the businesses. In the same way, at the tax authority level, they are liable to address queries they are in need of quick access to the informations they wanted to vet the refund as well they wanted to conduct the edits as well so these are the core main functions at the tax authority level so we will see what is the impact of technology on these core functions at the authority level 
so the role of technology in vat compliance for businesses before discussing the role of technology in vat compliance we need to understand what are the key business functions and processes related to vat so we can classify the processes and related functions into four major categories and these major categories are sales and related output tax second is purchases expenses and related input tax third one is reconciliation and the fourth one is e filing and submission of return and processing of payments in the sales businesses are liable to assess the proper tax position they are liable to issue and deliver the tax invoices as well they are liable to post proper entry in the system then we are in need of report by the end of the month by the end of the tax period which will show okay this is my taxable sales this is my exempt sales this is my out of the scope sales this is my standard rated sales but then we need to assess what is the related vat on the respective areas so these are the key functions in the sales and related output tax so we will see what is the impact and technology on these core functions in the same way for purchases and expenses businesses definitely will get invoice from the respective supplier they need to verify the tax invoice they will be proper posting of the tax invoice in the system at the end of the tax period businesses will generate proper purchases or expenses ledger and they will generate related input tax as well to verify everything so these are the core functions in purchases expenses and related input tax if we see reconciliation reconciliations are not required by the law this is not compulsory for every business to have the reconciliation but i am always recommending that we need to maintain the reconciliation the reason for maintaining the reconciliation is my tax numbers are different from my accounting number this is the basic reason to maintain the reconciliation just i wanted to give you an example suppose one company is receiving advances the company is receiving advances advances is not accounting income for the business but the businesses are liable to pay tax on the advances so i am always saying this advances is my tax income but this is not my accounting income and on these advances businesses are liable to pay tax in case books are being closed right now audit has been done return has been submitted after 4 5 years tax authorities are coming for audit once they are coming for audit the first thing they will ask i believe the first thing they will ask they will ask for the audited financials then they will compare the data as per the audited financials and as per the return in case deviations is coming then definitely they will ask for the reconciliation this reconciliation will be in between accounting revenue and tax revenue output tax as per ledger and output tax as per return accounting purchases expenses versus tax purchases and expenses input tax as per ledger and as per return in the same way reconciliation in the imports is required as well because lot of import like import for re export purposes this is not a genuine import but based upon the bill of entry we are liable to book the imports in the accounting system but this is not imports for tax system we need to maintain the reconciliation as well so this reconciliation is the key factor and we will see how technology can help us in the reconciliation at the end is e filing and processing of payment we want the system needs to generate the return automatically system needs to perform the highly analytical review to find any deviations linking of the system with the respective tax authorities portal to process the return automatically then payments needs to be processed through the e wallets entry needs to be posted in the system automatically technology can play a vital role here as well so let's start the discussion role of technology in the vat compliance for businesses the first area that we are discussing this is sales and related output tax in the functions are assessing tax positions so how the business will assess so sorry so how the system will assess the tax positions the best thing is we need to develop the drivers in the system if the system has a drivers based upon the respective tax laws so system will assess the tax positions but if the wrong drivers has been entered in the system definitely they will not give me the proper result so we need to hire the expert the expert needs to sit with the it team it team needs to establish the drivers into the system driver will assess the tax positions 
Drive will will assess this is the standard rated sales out of the scope exempt or zero rated sales. Based upon this, they will assess the respective tax positions accordingly. So technology can help us by establishing driver in the system and technology will assess the respective tax positions. Issues of and delivery of proper tax invoices. We need to customize the template into the system for e-invoicing. System needs to issue the tax invoice and system needs to deliver the tax invoice on the respective email address to the respective customer. So system and technology will come here as well. So posting of proper entry into the system. Once tax invoice has been issued, tax position has been established, then system will recommend the entry and entry will hit the respective ledgers automatically uh, this is possible in the system it is here as well which is removing the human involvement at the end we are in need of proper sales report we are in need of output tax report system will give me the sales report system will give me the respective output tax report i will reconcile it with the ledger principally system needs to do this by the end of the tax period we'll see in the reconciliation so these reports system needs to issue the respective reports as well if required by any authority by any department in the company so system will give me the sales and system will give me the related tax reports so means in this whole process we have seen from issuance of tax invoices till the end in the whole sales process system has assessed the tax position system has issued the invoice system has delivered the invoice system recommended for posting of entry in the respective ledgers at the end system has a report ready for me i can pull the report from the system i can give it to the respective person so technology is here which is removing human involvement bringing accuracy next is purchases expenses and related input tax now invoice has been generated by the supplier supplier will give tax invoice to the customer and we being a customer will receive the tax invoice the first thing we will do will verify all the contents of the tax invoice those will be machine readable devices are there in the market these devices will read the invoice so the devices will make sure that all the contents of the invoices are there. So technology is there instead of sitting and checking everyone. Okay, address is correct, name is correct, TRN is there, description is there, where has been applied properly, all these things. Instead of doing all these things manually, we can depend on technology. Technology will identify that all the contents of the invoices are proper and all the contents of the invoices are on the invoice. Then based upon this, this technology will advise us about the related tax entry again we'll pull the report by the end of the month so we can say in this whole process technology is there technology is assessing the correctness of tax device technology is advising the posting of entry into the system we can put again we can put again drivers into the respective devices that they will identify okay what are the input tax which is the blocked input tax what is the input tax which is allowable input tax so based upon this category entry will be made in the respective ledgers and at the time of preparation of return input tax from those ledgers will be blocked so technology will help us Next, as I discussed, these are the reconciliations. Reconciliation of accounting revenue versus tax revenue, output tax ledger as per return, accounting purchases and expenses versus tax purchases and expenses, input tax as per ledger and return, input tax, sorry, imports as per FTA portal and as per ledger. So these are the various reconciliation. As I requested, this is not compulsory for the businesses to maintain the reconciliations as this is not required by the law sorry so as i requested reconciliations are not required as per law law is not asking to maintain the reconciliation law is not requiring us but we are required to maintain the reconciliation just for our easiness we are in need of reconciliation why because i wanted to make sure my return is correct to check the correctness to check the completeness I wanted to make sure the proper input tax has been claimed. I wanted to make sure all entries which have been posted in the accounting system is reflecting in the return. I wanted to make sure my accounting revenue, the difference in between accounting revenue, tax revenue, what is the reason? 
So all these factors we are need of reconciliation. So accounting revenue or tax revenue reconciliation is required. We will maintain what is the reason of difference is the multiple reason of variation in between accounting revenue and tax revenue. One is advances. Second is sale of fixed asset. Third is FOC supplies. There are other items as well due to this difference will be arise in between accounting revenue and tax revenue and we will be required to maintain the reconciliation. So far as output tax ledger is concerned, we need to make sure what is the output tax reflecting in the system is correct and the same input out, so and the same output tax has been reported in the return we need to compare these two numbers so accounting purchases versus tax purchases and expenses reconciliation is required as well because a lot of purchases a lot of expenses will be there might be input tax will be blocked if input tax has been blocked it this accounting purchase and expense it will be my accounting purchase it will be my accounting input tax but for tax purposes, I will not be able to claim input tax. So ultimately my input tax will be blocked. Once my input tax will be blocked, means lesser amount of input tax will be reflecting in the return and higher amount will be reflecting in the accounting system and we will be required to maintain the reconciliation. Input tax as per ledger and return, we need to make sure what is the input tax reflecting in the system, eligible input tax that we have a right to claim. We are claiming the same input tax in the return as well. We need to compare the, these two numbers and the then import as per FTA portal and as per ledger. So reconciliation of import is required. A lot of imports like import for re-export purposes, temporary import of any item in UAE. If we are buying any item, any goods out of UAE which is import for re-export purposes or later it will be sent out of UAE, out of the jurisdiction. So we definitely will be booking the imports in the accounting system based upon the bill of entry. But this bill of entry is not reflecting on the FTA portal. So it means, it means my imports as per my books is different and in the return import is different and we need to prepare the reconciliation. What is the reasons of this difference in imports? So reconciliation is most important thing and technology where the technology will come definitely if we have established the logic in the system system can prepare the reconciliation and again there will be minimal human involvement the system can do all these things again we will be required to develop the drivers into the system and drivers it team will be required to establish the driver with the help of tax consultants then the system will be able to identify which are the accounting matters which are the tax item which are the sorry which are the accounting items which are the tax item what is the difference in between this and how to maintain the reconciliation this is possible fourth fourth one is e-filing and processing of VAT payment and the key functions are entering data in the proper tax return means my system needs to give me return automatically I will be able to pull the return or the day I am closing the books the very next moment I will be able to pull the return from the system so system needs to enter the data into the respective boxes of the return system needs to issue a proper tax return so we can say system needs to give me a proper tax return high level of analytical review we need to develop drivers in the system. We need to develop or we need to customize the system. System must compare the information current tax period with the previous tax period. In case there is a major deviation needs to be highlighted, it needs to be flagged. So we need to look into this. What are the reasons of major deviations? Linking system with the respective tax authorities portal. Okay. If the system that we are using, the business are using and the system which is being used by the tax authority, if this is the compatible system, the system will speak to each other, the system will interact with each other. So my return will be submitted through the system on the FTA portal. So technology will come here as well. So e-filing will be there then based upon this system can recommend the respective entry into the respective entry into the respective ledgers. Then at the end, this is the processing of payment. Even in the European countries, in some countries, whenever the invoice is being issued, this invoice is being split at payment and other payment. 
वेट पेमेंट से डायरेक्टली हिटिंग टू द रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ अथॉरिटी अकाउंट सो 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 दिस 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 इज अगेन दिस इज द रोल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड अपॉन दिस रियल टाइम इन्फॉर्मेशन इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड टू द रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ टैक्स अथॉरिटी सो टेक्नोलॉजी विल कम हेयर एज वेल सो इन द प्रीवियस डिस्कशन वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द कोर एरियाज फॉर द बिजनेसेस एंड हाउ द टेक्नोलॉजी कैन हेल्प देम टू ऑटोमेट द प्रोसेसेस एंड टू प्रोवाइड द रियल टाइम इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ टैक्स अथॉरिटी and e filing e invoicing all this is the technology and ultimately technology is helping businesses wherever this is not any technology business are keeping everything manual they are issuing manual invoices manual ledger manual entry that they are time consuming chances of error are there as well reconciliation are being not being made so if all these things are not being done ultimately it will lead to non compliance and non compliance will lead to penalties now we'll focus on the role of vat role of technology in the vat compliance for tax authorities so how the tax authorities can use the technology for vat compliance or might be they are using other than vat compliance as well might be i'm asking any question from the respect of tax authority and tax authorities are providing information to the artificial intelligence this is again the role of technology we'll see in we we'll look into this so we are focusing on the four key areas from the tax authorities point of view what will be the role of technology so addressing queries as i just discussed so queries can be addressed by using artificial intelligence A review of information real time information will be shared with the respective tax authorities and transaction can be verified by multiple parties by using a blockchain which will provide genuineness and authenticity of the information so again the role of technology to check the genuineness authenticity of the information to verify the information and to provide the real time information to the respective tax authority auto refund of vat this is very key thing i think a lot of business are still struggling in this world that the tourist vat required to be refunded back to the tourist at the same time whenever they are processing payment through the credit card so i believe this automation will come with the passage of time so by using technology a refundable vat amount will hit back to your credit card at the same time whenever you will process the payment for this again technology can be helpful for the audit as well as i just mentioned it will be helpful to identify to provide us the source of the information it will be helpful to verify the information it will provide us the genuineness and authenticity of the information more our tax authorities can review the data at the inv invoice level so one tax invoice has been issued this is input tax for one party output tax for the other party so tax authorities can match the data at the invoice level to verify that right amount of input tax is being claimed and correct amount of output tax is being paid so technology can be utilized by the respective tax authorities as well keep the businesses more compliant so we'll see what are the key benefits of technology what are the key benefits of using technology these are the eight key benefits first is online and real time data processing as we just discussed real time data will be provided to tax authorities they will have a quick access to the information so chances of error are minimum because human involvement will not be there drivers will be there based upon the drivers information will be produced customization will be there based upon the customization information will be produced so chances of error will be minimal irregularities irregularities evasion and fraud can be immediately identified this is possible with the help of technology vat refund will lead to timely processing and accuracy of information quick and timely response of queries by using artificial intelligence control of data to business and respective tax authorities so this technology will be helpful to have a control on the data by the businesses as well as by the tax authorities as well structured electronic files we know this e filing concept is everywhere so this a structured electronic file and this is possible through the technology retention of record as you know law requires we need to maintain the record for 5 years or 10 years or 15 year based upon the situations and if we are maintaining the data i'm asking specifically ue so if we are maintaining the data for 5 year 10 years 15 years manually 
I think it will take a lot of energy, efforts, time as well. Instead of these people's are businesses are maintaining the record on the system, so system will have the information. These are the key benefits of the technology. Pathway to 2025, uh, I believe within the next five years, these would be the major developments in the VAT. VAT base will increase. I believe VAT will be implemented in all GCC countries till 2025. Tax rate will increase. This is another, I believe that KSC has already increased the VAT rate from 5% to 15%. Might be other countries where the VAT had been implemented at that time, they will increase the VAT rate also. So they will increase from the VAT and might be from 5 to 7%, might be 10%, might be 15%. But I believe with the passage of time till 2025, VAT rate will be increased. Multiple VAT rate. In different European countries, they have multiple VAT rates. For the luxurious item, VAT rates are maximum for the day-to-day -day home usage like milk, like grocery, like medicines. They are zero rated. These are zero rated or these are the lowest rate. Like UK, they have two rates. In the France, I think they have three rates. In the same way, I believe within the GCC country, there will be multiple VAT rates. And this is the reason for the being the multiple VAT rates. Whenever we are issuing the tax invoices, authorities are asking us to issue the tax invoice having a separate line item. When the invoices have a separate line item, tomorrow it will be quite easy for the businesses to customize the respective invoices. Otherwise, they will be required to go back and structure the and restructure the invoices. So it is highly recommended to keep the invoices which must show line item wise tax invoices. Whenever the multiple rates are coming, you will be able to customize the system very easily and very properly. They will not be required any major restructuring into the system. Technology will be used, I believe major businesses will be using blockchain and artificial intelligence with the passage of time till 2025 which will in remove human involvement and which will bring accuracy and real-time information would be available with the respective tax authorities based upon this they will be able to identify the irregularity they will be able to identify any fraud quickly it will not be difficult for thing for them till 2025 because the information would be available real time and they will be invoice level matching as well so all these things will be implemented with the passage of time and the fifth thing is tourist vet refund i believe tourist has a right to receive some portion of vet up to some certain terms and conditions in case they are doing any shopping so i believe this vat refund will be automated i knew, i know it will be required a collaboration in between credit card issuing company like visa mastercard tax authorities like fta banks and sellers and whenever all these bodies all these bodies all these players on board and the visitors they are buying anything and the same time as i just discussed a couple of slides before vat refund you, which the business have a right to take it back from the respective tax authority this vat will hit back to their account at the same time so it, i think it would be again one more major development question and answer session uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, for the question and answer session you can approach us on our email which is info at crescooper.com or you can or you can visit our website as well crescooper.com in case of any question you can come back to us definitely i will personally address your questions Moreover, if you wanted to keep yourself updated about the latest developments in the region, specifically in the GCC countries for the VAT, ESR, transfer pricing, and in for all these things, I request you to subscribe our YouTube page, which is now with, which is with the name of Chris Cooper E Studio. Definitely, you will be getting latest information. Thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video. Click on the bell and subscribe to the YouTube channel.